Welcome to the political arena, Trump vs. Harris. Hello, fellow political enthusiasts. As we edge closer to one of the most critical elections in modern American history, the anticipation and drama only intensify. Today, we're tackling a major question that has everyone buzzing, why did former President Donald Trump, known for his bold personality and willingness to confront the media, suddenly back out of a major interview on 60 Minutes? What does this decision say about the race between him and Vice President Kamala Harris? Let's dive deep into the intricate layers of this political saga. Uncovering the strategies, the conflicts, and the stakes of this showdown. Imagine you're getting ready for what could be one of the last head-to-head -head encounters between the two major candidates before Election Day. The anticipation is palpable. Both campaigns, Trump's and Harris's, had agreed to participate in 60 Minutes. The CBS News program that has been the premier stage for presidential hopefuls to communicate with millions of American voters. But just as the cameras were ready to roll, Trump's team pulled the plug, refusing to proceed with the interview. What lies beneath this decision? Let's break it down. Trump's abrupt exit, a closer look. It all began when 60 Minutes, the long-standing CBS News magazine, confirmed that they would host both Trump and Harris as part of a special pre-election broadcast. This program has been a cornerstone of American political coverage, offering voters a final look at the candidates just days before heading to the polls. It's tradition. Yet, in a shocking twist, Trump's campaign decided to back out after initially agreeing to the interview. The Trump campaign's official statement pointed fingers at 60 Minutes, labeling the show as fake news. According to the campaign, 60 Minutes had begged for an interview, but nothing was ever officially scheduled. Trump's spokesman, Stephen Chung, added that the show insisted on live fact-checking, something that the campaign saw as unprecedented and a clear sign of bias. This accusation of live fact-checking struck a chord with Trump's supporters, who have long believed that the media is out to discredit him at every opportunity. But here's where things get interesting. According to inside sources, Trump's interview was indeed scheduled. And Scott Pelley, a well-known CBS journalist, was set to interview Trump at his Mar-a-Lago resort. The cancellation reportedly came just days before the scheduled meeting, throwing the network into disarray. For Trump's critics, this move was seen as an act of evasion, especially considering the election is right around the corner and the opportunities for major media appearances are dwindling. A familiar pattern, Trump and the media. This isn't the first time Trump has found himself in a tussle with 60 Minutes. The history between Trump and the media, particularly this show, is well documented. In 2020, during his presidential campaign, Trump famously stormed out of an interview with 60 Minutes correspondent Leslie Stahl after a series of tough questions. Trump later released his own video footage of the interview and criticized Stahl for not wearing a mask at the White House, a move that further escalated tensions between him and the mainstream press. Fast forward to 2024. And it seems the story is repeating itself. Trump's decision to back out of the 60 Minutes interview raises questions about his relationship with the media and how he chooses to engage with outlets that he perceives as hostile. For many of his supporters. This is seen as Trump standing up to a biased media apparatus a symbol of his broader battle against what he calls the fake news industry. In their eyes, Trump is once again proving that he won't play by the traditional rules set by the media elites. On the other hand, critics argue that Trump's refusal to participate in one of the most watched news programs in America is a sign of weakness. They believe that he is avoiding tough questions and serious scrutiny just when voters need to hear from him the most. David Plouffe, a senior advisor to Harris, was quick to pounce on this, tweeting that Trump is afraid of both the debate stage and the 60 Minutes interview, especially after a series of increasingly erratic speeches at his rallies. What's at stake, the implications for the election? So, what does this decision mean for the 2024 election? For Trump's campaign, skipping this interview could either be seen as a calculated risk or a missed opportunity. On one hand, Trump has managed to dominate the news cycle for years without needing to adhere to traditional media rules. His rallies, social media presence, 
and carefully curated interviews have allowed him to speak directly to his base without the interference of fact-checkers or tough questions from journalists. However, 60 Minutes offers something that rallies in social media can't, an audience of millions of undecided voters who may be tuning in for the first time to hear directly from the candidates. By backing out of this interview, Trump may have lost a crucial opportunity to sway voters who are still on the fence about his candidacy. It's a high-stakes game. And Trump's gamble is that his existing strategies will carry him through to victory without the need for a traditional sit-down with the press. Kamala Harris. Meanwhile, has seized the opportunity. With Trump out of the picture, Harris will be given an uninterrupted platform to present her vision for the country. Her interview, conducted by CBS correspondent Bill Whitaker, is expected to focus on the key issues that her campaign believes will resonate with voters' health care, the economy, and her plans to lead America through a time of division and uncertainty. For Harris, this moment on 60 Minutes could be a defining one giving her the chance to speak directly to voters without having to share the stage with Trump. A missed debate? Adding to the drama is the fact that no further debates are scheduled between Trump and Harris. Harris has accepted CNN's proposal for a second debate. But Trump's team has declined. With Trump himself saying that it's too late in the election cycle for another debate. This refusal to engage in a second debate only adds to the narrative that Trump is avoiding situations where he might be challenged or fact-checked. The absence of further debates means that the 60 Minutes interview could have been one of the final opportunities for voters to see both candidates under scrutiny. Now, with only Harris participating, voters will have to weigh Trump's decision against his broader campaign message. Will his supporters rally behind him for defying the media once again? Or will undecided voters see this as a missed chance to hear from the former president? The final stretch, what's next for Trump and Harris? As the clock ticks down to Election Day, the strategies of both campaigns are becoming clearer. Trump is leaning heavily on his rallies, social media, and direct messaging to energize his base. His decision to avoid traditional media outlets like 60 Minutes is part of a broader effort to bypass what he sees as biased institutions and speak directly to the people. But this strategy carries risks, particularly when it comes to reaching undecided voters who may still be looking for reassurance before casting their ballots. For Harris, the 60 Minutes interview is an opportunity to present herself as the steady, capable leader that many Americans are searching for in these turbulent times. She will likely use this platform to highlight her policy proposals and to contrast her vision with Trump's more confrontational approach. With no further debates on the horizon, this interview could be one of her last chances to make a direct appeal to voters. Conclusion, the battle for America's future. As the 2024 election approaches, the stakes have never been higher. Trump's decision to back out of the 60 Minutes interview has added a new layer of intrigue to an already dramatic election season. For Trump's supporters, this is another example of their candidate standing up to a hostile media and refusing to play by their rules. For his critics, it's a sign that Trump is avoiding the tough questions that voters deserve answers to. In the end, this election will come down to the voters and how they interpret these moves. Will Trump's unconventional approach win out? Or will voters gravitate towards Harris and her willingness to engage with the press and the American people? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, this election will be remembered as one of the most contentious and pivotal in American history. Stay tuned. Stay informed. And most importantly, make your voice heard. As Trump himself once said, the best is yet to come. But in this high-stakes political arena, it's up to you, the voters, to decide what that future will look like.